Welcome back everybody to Baldur's Gate 3. Alright, so let's go back to the Emerald Grove and we'll see how things go there, right? And I have a lot of things to sell, so... A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. We'll see you there. Patch together sack. What's that? What's the sack he gave me? He gave me some sack, right? I I don't see it. I beg your forgiveness, Master. Beg Sylvanus, not me. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, master. <laughs> she shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the grove still needs her. Yeah. You will soon see why. I think if but I was enough in of her. that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails, and again I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. In the shadows. May Sylvanas forgive me. At least you reckon. Sylvanas keep you. A smooth. Okay. Halsin thanks us and said that Wrath would surely reward us for our effort. Halsin said that we are no in immediate danger and that answers are it. Uh, okay. Fine. Githyanki crash. Just grateful for our the time to have some fun. Celebrate at camp. Uh, okay. Save the first druid. Alright. So where is that guy? outside oh he's inside okay let's go and talk to him Giorna I wasn't sure about you at first thought you might be trouble I was very wrong yeah. you've done it 
You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. Uh huh. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. You don't say it. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? You sure did. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Ah. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. I see. But I still want to see what's inside here. Yeah, whatever. I think it's fine. Master Halcyn's home by Sylvanus' mercy. Yeah. Let's talk to Neddy. Heal bird. Huh. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halcyn again. Mm. You kept your word. Thank you. Sorry, just give me a second. I think I'm catching a cold. I need to adjust my AC. Wow, it's not working. Why? Alright, whatever. Let's go. You're just lucky I didn't swig that poison. You're very welcome. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus' peace to this place, but I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Thanks. Right. Go for a good meal. Look away. Wings still a little stiff, but I'm getting stronger. <laughs> Man, this puts so much detail into it, huh? Secret Society of the Sword Coast exposed. Harper, Shadow Druids, Order of Clude, and Dark Justice here. I mean, that's fine. Scroll of Animal Friendship and Old Person, that's fine. Food and Trade. Ooh, Sorrow. Might be useful. The glaive the Druid notebook mentioned. Its owner thought it was cursed. The Emerald and Golden trunk. Hello? The robe of summer. What about above? Anything above? I guess no, that's all, huh? Anything here? I guess, okay, I guess we can go and talk to... We can go to camp, right? He said, 
I need to rest, right? Yeah, so let's go to there. Drink. I'm yeah. fine. Uh, loosen up, Icaron. No, no, an Albert. <laughs> Something's easier to than you lot. Patience. Have you no respect for showmanship? <laughs> Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you, and behold. <laughs> Adoring applause? You're too kind. He's too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Wax. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. <laughs> Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? No, I, I, I don't. I was thinking of Icaron. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. What do you mean? Join, man. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. <laughs> it's a party. Join. All right. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible and with such lovely company. <laughs> with you and just lately, I feel like I can remember what it's like to be good. I tried in the beginning. <laughs> Blew up in my face spectacularly. Lesson learned. Never try to befriend a devil, cambion, or imp. <laughs> Orphans are good for a drink and joke. But you can't turn your back on them. But hey, enough about that. That's history now. I want to think about the future. The one nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time is you've always got something to look forward to. Me too. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much. <laughs> you better go enjoy the party before I do something I'll regret. I like you unburnt after all. <laughs> Uh, Bye, Kala. soldier. Man. This is very straightforward, man. A nice quality. Just a moment. You know, I have never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... <laughs> I hate it. This is awful. <laughs> Enjoy myself. There's a worm in my brain. I'm surrounded by idiots and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? 
awful. <laughs> All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Yeah, what's your idea? By the hells. Sex, my dear. <laughs> a night of passion. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Uh, fine, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let, I want to see what happens if he, like, romances everybody. Right. Let's just see. Indeed, you will, my love. Indeed, you will. <laughs> Man, that's. I mean, it's a game, so I don't mind. But <laughs> oh, Alfira. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Fitting. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. <laughs> oh, Lakrisha. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I'd have liked to have tasted it. <laughs> Too bad for us both, your bunk will be quite busy. Take all the pleasures you can before dawn brings their end. Uh, we'll talk to him. Uh, I wanna, I wanna talk to other people first. Ooh, Bex and Dennis. Okay, let's talk to them. I need to dance. <laughs> no, no, I need to lie down. Hey. Finally, have his own sock drawer. Lie down, then dance. Isn't she well organized wardrobe? Isn't she the one I created, like my my helper? Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. Or maybe it's just a coincidence that I somehow came with that configuration. Thank you. There's that confidence I like. <laughs> Thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. Were our bond a little stronger, I might even have shared a moment of magic with you. Alas, our fledgling acquaintanceship has not yet taken flight. Such intimacy will have to wait. Another night, perhaps. Uh huh. What is that all? There's somebody here. Mole. Let's talk to him. Uh, I you wanna... came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. <laughs> Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. <laughs> uh, talk to... Kind of like I talked. Let's talk to Shadowheart. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with a starion. You two looked cozy. Far be it from me to judge. 
Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? I don't know. Desperate people. Refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. And yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Live a little. Uh, who's this guy here? Will. Oh, why is he here? Because of the devil? Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Are you alright? No. Yeah. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Uh, come on. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. If only half the world had half the heart you do. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Uh... Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. All right. Let's talk to Halsip. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. <laughs> Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. <sighs> then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. <laughs> Sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself, as enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. All right, Zevlar. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Didn't I? Go on. Go on, do your rounds. But if they hand you something purple, don't drink it. Isn't that I need to talk to him? Talk to Zevlar, they said. Right. Is that all? Do I need to lie down and go to bed? The 
buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Let me save it here. It seems like maybe it's a... Uh... <laughs> I guess I can... I can... Uh, fine, let's Your just... heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting. To have you. Do you mean you're gonna bite me? Oh, kiss you. Okay. Fine. I mean, I, I didn't think Astarian would be the first guy, okay? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. No, no nudity, okay? This is all family friendly. that it's a poem a gift from my old master Casador. he considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas he composed and carved that one over the course of a night he made a lot of revisions as he went you recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these assholes where they live. Sounds good. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything Under natural that? there. Any who linger are... Twisted by the curse, they become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. Okay. You could also go under. 
There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Okay. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. Yep. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. <laughs> May Sylvanas guide us. Alright. Got a new companion. I should talk to Sh oh where oh, here right shadow heart huh. so that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach did you want something Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. Okay. I don't know. I think I already see already Perhaps talk if I succeed in my mission and reach Boulder's Gate. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a justice here in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. 
I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Always good when I'm with you. Okay, let's go. Good. All right, so let's leave the camp. Let's get out. Uh, So I guess we need to go to the underdog, right? Basically. So we can go by mountain pass. Or... The Risen Road. Wookin's Rest. How about the Zentarian hideout? What's happened there now? Let's go and check. Did they leave or did they still hear? What's going on? No, they are still here. Something I can help you with? Huh. Potion of invisibility. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nothing more here, I guess. Uh. Um. Before I do that. Uh, Gale. Yeah, Kalak, you stay here for a minute. Oh, hi. Really? Really? Oh, fine. Yeah, I think he will. I need to upgrade him, right? Oakfather's blessings to you. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Hopefully, I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. Wrath has promise, but he's not ready yet. The Grove needs experience and a strong hand. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first hand. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch, thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. 
We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Alright. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Catherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. All right. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. All right. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. <laughs> miss it <laughs> oh dear no it's a terrible burden takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others problems and personalities be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role i say likely they don't understand it or they have ill intent i'm just glad to be out here amidst the oak father's creations You wish to speak? I cannot have him as a my party member. What's going on? You wish to speak? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. <laughs> There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. All right. A bad impression. <laughs> Impossible. Uh, so... Uh uh, okay, I can't have him as a... Uh, fine. Uh, Karlak, you had your turn, so I want Astarian to be with me this time. I suppose you want to hear about Kazador. My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Kazador mm. Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. Mm. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. 
Yeah. Hard to say which was worse. Heh. <laughs> Thank you, but this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there, and they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. All right. I guess I can't. All right. Under dark, I guess we can go to the my colored colony. All right. Travel through the under dark. The Underdark is a treacherous labyrinth of tunnel. <laughs> to find the path to Mundra's tower, we'll need to explore. Alright, fine. So, where were we last time? Blurg is here. Tea house. Kill the Draugr by the lake. Free the Genome Deep, Arcane Tower. Okay, so let's go here. Let me see. How is your world? I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? A tongue of madness and the spores from a timusk mushroom. You may find them in nature, or the nearby cleric's tower. Be cautious. Those that have taken root are quite dangerous. I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the elder brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled. Before the colony discovered, I had defected. In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains, he required souls, a perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company, and thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Okay. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes? I greet you, child of the sun. How uh, welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I observed a fight from a distance. Combat is not my field of expertise, but the Mykonids handled themselves well enough. Uh, 
All right. Uh, let's wrap things up here. Have you spoken with Scris lately? Uh, we will go and explore the other stuff, right? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.